So I was working on this last project and I had one more saw cut to make for making my template template over there. <laughs> I cut the width of the board reset the fence went to cut the length and look what I happened here. Till the breaker blows. <laughs> no warning, no nothing. One second the saw is working fine, the next it's blowing the breaker. So what I did was the first thing I always do is I check the the starter switch, pull the cover off, uh, the breaker's off check the contacts, make sure that they're working okay, even take a file and just file the contacts a little bit, get some of the pitting off of them, and that didn't solve the problem. So the next thing is open up the side of the saw and then check the capacitors we got one run we got one run capacitor which is the silver one here and one start capacitor and I think the start capacitor is bad so it's a bit of a job to take this motor out of the saw so before I do that I'm going to uh, check the start capacitor and the uh, run capacitor and see if they're good and I'm gonna if they're not I'll replace them before I try to take the saw out so okay All right, so we're gonna check the uh, capacitors this one run capacitor and one start capacitor. Set the meter. What did I say? 216 to 240. And 245.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. Keeps dropping. It's not stabilizing so we could have a bad start capacitor here 245 245 all right so I think before I go any further, I'm going to um, going to go order a new start capacitor and uh, and see if that fixes it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take this motor out and check the start switch, which I really don't want to do. Now, in order to, to check this capacitor, I had to cut this wire off because it's um, it was soldered on. And I disconnected this one, so I'm going to put a lead, uh, a connector, back on this wire. And 
And so this is orange. I'm going to have to put a connector on this one also. Orange and red are together. And then this white one goes over here. Alright, well, let me do that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these uh, um, female connectors, but I'm going to take off the plastic like that, and I'm going to solder it in place because this motor gets a, fun, a lot of vibration. I've got to get my glasses. Just give it a squeeze, hold it. And then I'm gonna solder it in place. So that's one side of the start capacitor. And there's my. Alright, now the other side is also soldered in place. So I'm going to cut it off. Do the same thing. Just going to solder the connector to it. Go get me another connector. Okay, so those two go together, and so these three are the start connector, start capacitor. Now the 
the other capacitor in here is the run capacitor. This one. And this one is supposed to be 12.5 microfarads. So let's check that out and see if this one is, is, is still good. Should be. What did I say? 12.5. We're at 12.25. I'd call that good. All right. So this one is okay. Uh, put this back in so I don't mix up the wires later. All right, well, I'm going to uh, order a new capacitor, and when it comes in, we'll see if that solves the problem. And if it doesn't, we got to take the motor out and pull the front end off. All right, well, we ordered a new capacitor. Came in the mail yesterday. Here's the old one and the new one. You can see it's about an inch smaller in height. Uh, so the ratings on this one 216 to 259 microfarads at 250 volts. So First thing we'll do is check it out, make sure it's where it's supposed to be. So, let's see. Can we see that? Uh, okay, so settled at 223.3. 223.3 puts it right in the range. So, I'm going to hook it up and we're going to see if it works. Hopefully that's going to solve the problem. So, this is the run capacitor. And that checked out and that was in good shape. And now I'm going to, I'm going to hook up the run, uh, the start. Uh, Alright, I soldered a new connector on here and I've got everything connected. And, uh, Let's see if it works. Move the camera. I'll turn on the breaker. Here we go. obviously the problem. Uh, the st start capacitor went bad. So I'll put this back together and uh, put the side cover on the cat on the uh, table saw and I'll see you in the next video.